Up to this point, all the sketches we have looked at have been on a reference plane. One thing I want to show you is that you are not confined to sketching just on reference planes. I'm going to be getting ahead of the curriculum just a second to show you what I mean. I'll start a new sketch, just like we've done up to this point. I'll select a sketch-based feature, a boss extrude, and create a simple rectangular sketch. The next step to complete the feature is to simply exit the sketch. If you remember from earlier, one method to exit the sketch is by clicking on this icon here. The next step is to complete the feature. Don't worry, we'll go into much greater detail about these commands in the upcoming lessons. At this point, if I have a need to create a sketch on this face, I can do so without having the need of creating a plane or picking one of the default reference planes. I can simply select on the face as my sketch plane. Now I can create any sketch geometry I need on this face. Something else to keep in mind, you don't actually have to sketch on the face itself. I can sketch anywhere in space. As you can see, I'm really still sketching on the same face. Think of the face as being an infinite plane so that no matter where I sketch, the sketch geometry will always be at the same level as the face I selected. I point this out because many users experienced with more primitive CAD systems are quick to begin creating planes when it really isn't necessary. Take the time to practice using some of the simple sketch tools and play around with the geometric relations and dimensions. The better you understand these concepts, the easier SolidWorks will become as you start creating parts, assemblies, and drawings.